Jen and I'm the Community Manager for Cards Against Humanity. I'm Trin and I'm the Events Manager for Cards Against Humanity. It's the morning! Jen and Trin, in the morning, Jen and Trin have stuff to say. Good advice, in the morning, to fix your shit for the rest of the day. Marvin Thomas of Mutant Games sent us his game, The Game of Hurt Feelings. And this week, we got our regular playtest crew together to play it. The Game of Hurt Feelings is where you and two or more of your friends will attempt to accurately guess how they are perceived by others reading the questions, voting for whomever best exemplifies the traitor situation, and then wagering on how many votes you think you will receive. So, read a trait or situation, and guess how many of your friends think it applies to you. Sounds simple enough. Everyone picks a color, which will then represent them when it's time to vote. A fireball! And we move on to the first round. Well, it says, which person does not deserve their success? So, are we going to Oh my god! Yeah, no, her Clearly, the game doesn't quite suit us, but Tomo has a plan. Can we adopt personalities of people we don't like? Like, I'll be Stalin. Sure. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a really good idea. Tomo's idea for a roleplay mechanic is an immediate hit. Now, instead of hurting each other's feelings, we'll be hurting the feelings of... Paula Dean. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Carlin plays Paula Dean. Tomo plays Nicolas Cage. Trin plays Bono. I feel awkward zooming in on your chest. Boobies, boobies, boobies. <laughs> Steven plays the patriarchy. And Jen plays as Wolf Blitzer. Now to play the game of hurt feelings while keeping everyone's feelings intact. It's not exactly in the spirit of the game, but we're not fucking sociopaths, so everyone's pretty okay with it. There doesn't seem to be a set of guidelines that tell you which of the traits and scenarios you should read and when, so we just pick the ones that we like the best and read them in that order. Except we don't really like a lot of them. That this person talks about how they wear the pants in the relationship until the significant other shows up. This person's bachelor's party will probably be at Chuck E. Cheese. It's really stupid. The patriarchy finally settles on a scenario. Uh, if this person were your boss, you would have no respect whatsoever for their authority. Oh my gosh, that could be really any of us. You think so? Who am I again? All right, well, I think Bottom. I know. We all cast our votes. Turns out almost nobody has any respect for Paul and Dean's authority as a boss. No matter what they say, this person has got to still be a virgin. Oh, <laughs> this is true, my dear, Bono has like 12 children. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Bono has shitload of babies. He has like a farm full of kids. Whose dependence on their mommy borders on unhealthy? A lot of them aren't that bad, but still, not really anything you'd want to say to somebody that you want to see again. Uh, it's time to play dodgeball. Who's last picked? But when we play as people that we don't personally know, hilarious things happen, like Trin trying to defend Bono as a dodgeball teammate. Ooh. Really mean Bono! Do you know he was a little shit in high school? <laughs> but he's a tough... He's all no, is he? Like, you wouldn't want him to, like, try and throw a ball at someone because he'd be like, no. Oh, you're right. You know? After we play a full round, we tally up the scores. Um, four-way tie for last. <laughs> uh, with, it, with three points, and yellow with one point wins. Yay, Jen, yay! And what? You won, yay! Wait, who were you in? Oh, it's a Blitzer, yay! yay. He's, sli he's slightly yeah. less terrible than everybody else, yay! And to conclude, the crew puts together their closing statements. I wouldn't play it with my friends because I because they're my friends. Yep. I like the better game we invented. Everyone came to the same conclusion. Some of the traits were funny and creative enough to be played at someone else's expense to humorous effect. But most of them were just shitty things to say to another person and not funny enough to get away with it. Every now and then you'll get one of them that's funny. Like this one says, this person would probably join a cult if approached in the right way. Uh, but then most of them are just really, really mean. Like this one says, no amount of booze will make this person attractive to the opposite sex. Who keeps living in their glory days because they are a total failure presently. So yeah, it's just me. I really like this one that says, this person could witness actual magic and be unimpressed. Like that is everybody will laugh when that is revealed instead of cry, like most of these. We really did enjoy the game after we added our own roleplay mechanic. But if we hadn't done that, the game is just too mean-spirited. 
We actually like our friends. Uh, maybe if the questions were a little bit funnier and less like, you couldn't get laid if you lined your vagina with gold doubloons. Then we can actually play with them. Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the game, game Marvin and, and Mirrodin games. games. Also, I can't tell the difference between those two colors. So you colorblind? Apparently. <laughs>